Hey there, this is Brendan here. We are at the River Thames in London. Today, we are going to be learning how to roll a coin. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do I roll a coin? And can you teach me how to do this? Today, we're going to do just that. So the first thing we're going to do is grab a coin that you're comfortable with. I'm using a dollar. This is a silver dollar. Uh, and the other one I have is a mechanic industry coin. Uh, the reason I like this is because it's identical on both sides, which is pretty cool for your coin stars. But uh, let's get to a basic of a coin roll. The first thing you're going to do is hold the coin on your thumb. Once you have it on your thumb, you're balancing it there. You're going to go back and forth. All you're doing is moving your thumb back and forth. Then you clip it onto your first finger. Once you have it there, you let it balance on the knuckle of your first finger. So not here, but this bit right there. Once it's balanced there, then you clip it with the middle finger. Pull that around, balance on your middle finger. The same with the ring. And with the pinky, you gotta pinch it, extend all your fingers as the coin drops down here. Clip it back onto your thumb and go around. So the few things that you have to practice for this is learn how to move your knuckles up and down like this. That usually comes with a finger practice and I will do a video on finger exercises in the future. So keep, keep a look out for that. So again with the coin, balance it on your thumb. Once it's up here, you're clipping it onto the next one, onto the next one and onto the last finger. Extending it, dropping on your thumb back again and you can use your fingers to move it around back on top. Now, a lot of things, a lot of problems that would happen in the first few times you're gonna learn this is your fingers might extend out. You wanna try and avoid doing that. So maybe put your hand here so your knuckles are bent and then roll it with bent knuckles like this. So not extend, but bend it like this. You can put it to a, uh, your hand, use a wall, uh, whatever you like. Another way that I like to practice is by using both your hands. So not only one, but use two hands at the same time. So once you get comfortable with one hand, use the other. So sometimes, even if your hand's hurting for, for, for some reason or the other, uh, you, you put it down, you relax, use your other hand. And with the other hand, you start rolling and doing this exactly the same thing. Now that you know how to roll a coin, the second thing is, where do you practice? That's easy. Just practice any way you can, really. I do it on the tube, on the bus, wherever, in the cinema sometimes, uh, while you're sitting at home watching a movie. The good tip is, do it over a bed. So if you have a, a couch or something where you're not going to bend down and pick it up, because then you're not going to be scared about dropping it. So that's a good, good tip. Also, the other thing, a very important thing, is set goals for yourself. So here's what you do. You get a phone, uh, your, your stopwatch, and you do a minute. And practice how many coins could you roll in a minute. Try and push it up. So if you can get 20 coins, 20 rotations like this, this is one, this is two. If you can get about 20, push it to 25. Then try 30 and see how many can you push it into one minute. And in that way, you're just going to get good eventually. And my record at the moment is 38. See if you can beat that. Another way to practice and another question that people ask me is what's the best coin to use? I think just use them all. Uh, try different coins. So here is a one pound coin. Here's the smallest one I could find is a 5p. So yes, it can be done with any coin. Just practice. But the reason I use bigger coins is because when I'm performing, I have a lot of people to perform too. And if I use a smaller coin, they're not going to see it so clearly. So that's the reason I use bigger coins like this. Here's when you have too much time on your hands. Now, I'm not going to be teaching you how to multi-coin roll, but if you do want to see this, let me know in the comment section and we'll do another video for you. Thank you for watching this video. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video.